Hello, this is a demo of the Little Hope Jones organ at Pilton near Barnstaple in England, as simulated by my prog organ virtual pipe organ. He built it in 1898 and it's one of his small instruments still remaining in Britain after he left for America in 1903. In that it's extremely rare now to find an organ with any Hope Jones pipework in it at all, let alone all of it, as in this case. Because I've played this organ, I've been able to optimise this digital version to come very close to the real thing. It has the features found in all Hope Jones organs. Strongly different tone colours, novel stops such as diaphones, lots of couplers, extended and borrowed ranks, nothing above four foot pitch and so no mixtures or mutations, and gadgets such as the stop switch for changing registrations. I'll be demonstrating all of these in this video. So, put another way, this little church organ has all the ingredients of the future Wurlitzer theatre organ, which it's fair to say that Hope Jones invented. So let's start with the great organ stops. There are only four of them, all at eight foot pitch, except for a 16 foot flute. And that 16 foot flute is on a separate unit chest, not a slider chest so that it can provide the three pitches of Borden tonality on the pedals at 8 foot, 16 foot and even 32 foot with the resultant bottom octave. The open diapason sounds quite conventional but it was found to be too loud in the church quite some time ago so it was tamed rather. flute is just a flute as its name implies but it's quite a powerful one. In contrast the viol d'amour is extremely quiet and reticent. It's a string. Finally, that Röhrgedacht, the 16-foot flute that I was telling you about, that's also used on the pedals. Here it is. toward the bass uh, and therefore that means the Borden at 16 foot on the pedals is also loud. Um, I can play downwards to the bottom note of this 16 foot flute but whether or not you'll be able to hear it because of the shortcomings of audio systems in general and video cameras in particular I couldn't predict but anyway here goes. <laughs> So that's the great organ. On the swell organ, the diapason phonon, a Hope Jones special name incidentally, has leathered lips 
so it sounds dull and muted. You'll note that it's pretty much as loud as the open diapason on the grate, which is rather unusual. There's also a rather loud and keen string, the viol d'orchestre, much louder than the string that we heard on the grate a minute ago. The phonuma, yet another Hope Jones special name, is a slightly stringy flute, but much quieter. You can add an undulating celeste rank to it. And that sounds quite nice when we also add the stringy viol. The only reed on the organ is the cornopian, uh, which in fact is quite conventional. It's rather nice. The remaining swell stop is the only one on the entire organ at four foot pitch. It's a quintadina speaking with a prominent twelfth in its voice. That stop was used in the piece played in the opening sequence to this video. As I said earlier, on the pedals there's a 16 foot flute unit derived from the grate uh, which provides basically bordens at three different pitches 16 foot of course an octave, of, octave above at 8 foot and an octave below at 32 foot uh, the 32 foot has a resultant quintered bottom octave but there's also a fourth very different sort of stop on the pedals it's a diaphone. Yet again, another Hope Jones idiosyncratic name. Um, and it's a stop of a type he invented also. It's neither a flute nor a reed, but something in between. It uses an oscillating air vowel to produce a powerful, smooth, pervading tone, which on this organ has been voiced more towards a reed tonality. Let me add the 32 foot resultant bass to that note and see if you can detect it. Here in the room it produces a very pronounced rumble. Let's turn to the couplers. For a small organ there are actually quite a few of them. There's an unusual octave coupler on the grate. This is actually a coupler. It's not an octave four foot principle and it's not the swell four foot coupler. There's one of those as well. But here's the great octave. So if I put on the open diapason By putting on the coupler as well, I get a sort of principle with it at four foot. Similarly, the flute. That's, this is the eight foot flute. And so on. As 
well as that useful four foot coupler on the grate, you can couple the swell through 16, 8 and 4 foot pitches. Here's the phonuma and the celeste on the swell. We can play that on the grate by putting on the swell to great unison or the swell to great octave or the swell to great sub or all three if we like. Uh, the swell also has its octave and sub-octave couplers. Here's the viol d'orchestra on the swell with the sub-octave and a super octave and the celeste rank. So the couplers actually make it quite a versatile little organ. And then of course both manuals couple down to the pedals in the usual way. And finally a gadget. It's the stop switch, yet another Hope Jones innovation. It enables you to change from one registration to another instantaneously, rather like today's stepper or sequencer pistons, or even a general piston. Let's set up a particular registration to start with. I'm going to choose the great open diapason, the swelter great and the cornopian, which sounds fairly bold. We can capture that, reg that registration on the stop switch. There we go, we've still got it, but the magic thing is we can take it off now and do what we like to the stops. There are no stops on, apart from the stop switch, and yet that initial registration is still there. Clever, isn't it? But it's even cleverer because we can now set up a completely different registration. Let's just put this quiet string on for the grate. We don't hear it yet, nothing's happened. We've still got the original registration. But if I hold the original registration and then put the stop switch off, it'll flip right back to this new registration, which is this, the quiet, great string. Listen. Clever or what? Thank you.